Hey, it's Ben. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up your Google Maps business listings the right way. This can seriously boost your visibility, help you show up in local search results and bring in more customers without spending a dollar on ads. All right, let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I recommend doing is checking if your business already exists on Google. Google often creates listings automatically using public data. Claiming an existing listing is gonna prevent any duplications in the future. So I recommend just going and searching for your business online and then coming into Google Maps and then just double checking that it doesn't already exist. Sometimes if you click on one of these, you'll see there will be a button at the bottom here that says claim your business. Then you can just fill in the form and it's a pretty easy process. If it is not there, what you wanna do is go to google.com slash business and then click on start now. This is the start of the application process to get your business onto Google. So the first question here is to put in your business name. It's best to use your real business name and not any keywords as Google might suspend your profile if you do so. So just put in your business's name and then click on create a business with this name. Click on continue. And then here's where you're gonna choose your business's type. So if you're running an online business, like an e-commerce store then you would obviously choose the online retail if you're an in-person local store then you could click on local store but for example if you are a local business that also sells online you can select both so you can see I can just toggle on these squares and I can select both and then click on next in my case I'm gonna be a plumber for today so I'm gonna click on service business and then next then you're gonna search your business's category so you want to choose a category that's broad but still accurate to your service so over here you want to think like the customer so what is the customer gonna be searching in order to find you so if I was a landscaper I would put landscaping but a plumber is already pretty general so I'm gonna say plumber. Please note that you can add more categories later. So this isn't a final set and then you can never come back to this. So just find the most accurate one related to your business and then click on next. The next question is where do you service your customers? So don't be unrealistic here or choose faraway cities just because you think that you're gonna get a larger audience. You might find that you might get less people that way than only listing the service area that you could actually serve. For example, if I was willing to only travel two hours maximum to serve my clients, then I'm gonna add that as the service area. But I'm not gonna add other major cities that are too far away just because I think I'm gonna get more leads. So stick to the place that you genuinely serve. I'm gonna say Charlotte, North Carolina, and then click on next. The next question is to select what contact details you wanna to show to your customers. This information will be online. So if you do not want people to have your personal phone number, then obviously don't add it. So here you can add your phone number and your website. I'm just gonna add a random phone number and then click on next. Then this next section is just to opt in for updates or tips. I would recommend choosing this box over here to get news and tips on how you can improve your business's profile. This one I would ignore personally and then click on continue. Now we are on to the verification step. This is probably the biggest part of this whole setup. It's not difficult, but it is a step that will protect you against impersonations and to tell Google that you are a real business. So in my case, it's asking for a mailing address to verify. If I put the mailing address in here, it does not mean that it's gonna show that information on Google. This is strictly for the verification process. You'll find that sometimes they ask you to verify the profile by taking a video. If you do get that option, then don't panic. You'll just have to film like your business's exterior, the interior, the signage, maybe some parts of your operations, or maybe you're unlocking your business's car door. They just wanna see that the business belongs to you and they'll use that video method to verify your account. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna click on verify later just so I can continue with the demo. This next section is when you add your services. So this is your keyword goal. So the more relevant the services you list, the more chances you have to appear for that specific keyword. So don't click on keywords that you don't actually offer. You might be flagged in the future. So in my case, as a plumber, everything over here is selected, but if I don't, for instance, do water heater installation, and I maybe don't do shower installation, then toggle them off. By default, they're automatically selected. If you wanna see more options, click on show more. Maybe I do garbage disposal repair, so I'll select that one. Then if I wanna add any custom services, then click on this button over here at the bottom. In case options don't appear in this section, over here. So once I've selected the keywords that are related to my service, then I'm gonna come down to the bottom and click on next. So this is where we add the business hours. So be honest about your availability. Don't just toggle on and say that you're open on a Monday if you're not open on a Monday. For instance, if you mark that you're open 24 hours, but when people call you and you don't answer, that's gonna frustrate the caller. So only toggle on the times that you're actually open. So if I'm open on Tuesday and I am open 24 hours, just select it. But you can just select the open time as well as the close time for the specific days. So do that for all of them and then click on next. And this is where we add the business description. So you wanna keep this part simple and informal just to show you where this description appears. If I come back over here, just scroll to one that might have one. So I can't find an example for the plumbers specifically, but if you added the description, it should appear just over here, just below the name of the company. Keep in mind, this is indexed by Google. So use natural language and keep it specific to your business. So what you wanna include in your business description is the key offering that you do, as well as the location that you provide that service in. I can say award-winning plumber specializing in faucet repairs within the Charlotte area. You can use 750 characters, but you don't wanna blast a wall of text on your Google profile because nobody's gonna read it. You want scannable quick sentences. So try and aim between around this amount and 150 characters. Once you've done that, click on next. Then you can add photos of your work. So photos boost credibility and engagement. Listings with high quality pictures get more clicks. So start with three to five good ones, maybe of your storefront,
front and your team and of your past work and then try your best to try and update that regularly when you do so it will help with conversions for now i'm going to click on skip and then they're going to prompt you to advertise easily in minutes sometimes they offer you 500 dollars in advertising credits small catch though is that you have to spend 500 to get the 500 so if you're not ready to run ads then obviously don't you can just click on skip and then we have the final step which just mentions that your edits will be visible once you're verified so that application that you sent off once that gets approved then you will show up in business listings so when you click and continue over here you'll see that this place is like your control panel for your google my business you can find this place by searching my business or by searching google.com slash business and then clicking on manage when you do get verified you'll see that it will say verified over here if you have not yet been verified it will look something like this so from this dashboard you can manage things like your messages if you have messaging enabled checking your reviews adding posts looking at your performance and even advertising from here if you wanted to edit your profile just click on this button here but again this is your overview dashboard of your google my business listings profile all right that's how you set up your google business profile from start to finish it's simple but it makes a massive difference in how your business shows up online the next step to make sure you start ranking well is to get reviews we can help you with that at streamline then feel free to grab a time with us down below my name is ben and thank you for watching